Multi-touch surfaces are becoming ubiquitous. Integrating them into desktop computing has the potential to enrich the current mouse and keyboard dominated interaction paradigms. In this project, we systematically investigate both theoretical and practical issues about integrating planar multi-touch surfaces with mouse and keyboard input. On the theoretical side, we conducted controlled experiments to investigate users' touch input abilities and transition costs for five planar touch surfaces, bottom, left, top, and right regions of the desk, and the vertical screen. The results provide guidelines on utilizing different touch regions for desktop work. Guided by the study, we then designed a set of interaction techniques integrating multi-touch surfaces with a mouse and keyboard to facilitate desktop work. Each of them will be shown in this video. The enhanced taskbar is a touch region tightly attached to the bottom of the keyboard. It allows users to manage windows directly with two hands, providing a higher input bandwidth than traditional window management operations. Thumbnails of open windows scatter the enhanced taskbar. The spatial locations of these thumbnails convey the spatial location of the open windows on the display. Users can move and resize windows by operating on the thumbnails. Moving the fingers horizontally controls the width of the window, while vertical movements adjust its height. Diagonal movements simultaneously change both the width and height. Double tapping a thumbnail maximizes the corresponding window, and double tapping again restores it. Flicking down a thumbnail minimizes the window, while flicking up restores it. Shortcuts and the Start menu can also be invoked in this area. Through the enhanced taskbar, a user can simultaneously manipulate multiple windows with two hands. A multifunctional touchpad is located on the left side of the keyboard to enable two-handed interactions. Through the rotation and scale region, users can control multiple degrees of freedom simultaneously. For example, in a puzzle game, while dragging a piece with the mouse, a user can simultaneously resize and rotate the square with the left hand fingers on the touchpad. On the mouse speed region, users can move the fingers apart to increase the CD gain, while moving them together reduces it. A secondary cursor controlled by the left hand on the touchpad is introduced to support the primary cursor operations. For example, in a drawing application, the user moves the secondary cursor on a tool palette to select different tools. and the right hand controls the primary cursor with the mouse to draw graphics on the canvas. Besides enabling two-handed interactions, the touchpad could work as a customized UI palette containing the most commonly used UI elements of the foreground application. For example, if the current focus window is a text editing application, the UI palette could contain interface components for controlling font size, style, and color. This UI palette can be customized by finger gestures, a user can duplicate a UI element from the screen by directly flicking it down. Flicked elements animate towards the touch surface. Dragging the element inside the touchpad automatically snaps it, while dragging it out deletes it. We also designed a digital mouse pad and implemented it underneath the mouse to augment its operations. The right button contextual menu is visualized on this area. The user can trigger it by touching the corresponding button. The system clipboard is also visualized on the mouse pad. Users can directly tap the content to paste it. The four planar touch regions on a desk together with the touch screen constitute a continuous workspace. Users can freely drag windows across them, or they can use flick gestures to quickly switch the window back and forth between the screen and table. A window changes from a full version on the screen to an abstract version on the table to highlight the most important information. UI elements are enlarged and repositioned to suit finger touch. The Magic Desk system is able to detect users' attempt of utilizing the whole table and adjust the display mode of a window accordingly. 
For example, the window on the horizontal table will automatically expand to fill the entire desk if the keyboard is pushed away. The horizontal table now becomes a full multi-touch display on which users can freely pan and zoom displayed pictures with the fingers or make annotations with the pen. Bringing back the keyboard to the center of the desk restores the desk to its prior status. We have demonstrated a set of interaction techniques for integrating multi-touch surfaces with the mouse and keyboard to facilitate desktop work. All of these techniques are coherently integrated into a desktop prototype called Magic Desk. These techniques take advantage of the various input channels offered by mouse, keyboard, and touch input.